Hey, this is Katie Cole. I'm a singer-songwriter originally born in Melbourne, Australia, but I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I am a recording artist and also a touring musician in The Smashing Pumpkins. So I wanted to take this opportunity to show you my studio space, how I record and also how I do my live streaming. So let's go take a look. Now my iMac is my machine where I run Logic and video editing software for videos too. And my interface is an Apogee Duet. I do most of my relative listening through these Sennheiser 650 HD headphones and also the um, uh, speakers that are built into the iMac too. I just like to hear how most people will hear things too because not everybody has um, you know full stereo sound that they're listening through. Most people will listen to um, your song or watch your video through their phone speakers so I, I like to be <laughs> I like to have some reality to my to my monitoring too. I have various lighting and backdrops I use as I truly believe that whether it's a Zoom meeting or recording for a video for YouTube, how you look matters and you always want to look pro, whether it's for a Zoom meeting or something else, it doesn't matter. The way that you are presented to other people really matters in my opinion. Now next to my keyboards, I have a MIDI keyboard just for tracking purposes and a Yamaha keyboard that I use for practice and also for live streams. I have a number of guitars I use and um, I usually only leave a few out as they collect dust and strings absorb moisture and also I have cats. That's just a reality of my life. I use mostly Yamaha guitars and basses for live, live streams and demo tracking. Now to record vocals, my main vocals and almost everything I do for YouTube is through a Neumann TLM 103. It's really the first high quality mic I bought when I was in my early 20s and it's literally traveled around the world with me. Um, it's versatile and definitely a workhorse, much like me. I've been professionally live streaming for over a year now since lockdown and I mainly use a site called Stage It but I've streamed through Facebook, Instagram and others too and found that still not all systems and platforms will recognize your interface. Most will. Um, but it's good to have something else um, to uh, fall back on as when you are performing live, generally it's great to have um, some sort of access to reverb to have that buffer for the sound that you've got as not everyone wants to hear exactly every, you know, syllable of everything just cut off to the second you want. You want that ambience of being like in a room and seeing someone on stage. And um, so I struggled for a little bit to find something that worked for me. And I was introduced to the um, THR32A from Yamaha last December. I demoed it for Winter Nam and was just blown away. I can tell you it's a killer tool I use for live streaming and backstage use and I'm actually recording this whole video using that too. I, you can input it with a guitar and also you input it with a dynamic microphone. My go-to microphone is a Sennheiser E935. It's just a little bit more dynamic than the 835, um, but that's my go-to. You can then use the app that's for the amp and um, you can set and store presets, add EQ, reverb, compression. You plug your headphones directly into it to monitor and get your levels. And because I've stored the presets, I can toggle between preset one, which is where I've got all my reverb um, for performance and then I can toggle to preset 2 which is my dry signal that you're hearing right now because sometimes you are in the middle of, of a performance and you're in the middle of a song and you finish your song but you want to say something and for a live streaming purpose um, you may want that clarity of what you're hearing right now you may not want to hear <laughs> this this ocean of reverb so I really I actually use that feature and will switch between while I'm doing something I think it's really useful um, it has a USB out from the amp itself and basically that just plugs into your laptop or desktop and you select it as your audio device as you would for an interface or any other device that you've plugged into it um, just to basically select it away from the computer um, microphone etc really I don't have a lot of gear in my studio as you see and I really don't think you have to I think it's more a matter of having a couple of great tools to use a great microphone a great pro setup um, and knowing how to use what you've got. As I, I'm sure every musician out there knows people that have a ton of gear that they have no idea how to use. 
So know how to use what you've got to its fullest extent. And once you've outgrown it, you'll know what the next thing is to get. Um, really wishing you all the best of luck. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you around. Bye guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos just like this.